hello guys greetings from mmdotronics so today in this video tutorial uh, i'll show you how we can integrate any external library like uh, uh, like say adafruit or uh, some other libraries to our uh, code uh, where in the as we ha we have seen in our last video where we have worked in or arduino as a component in esp idf using vs code so uh, on that arduino as a component we will add uh, adafruit dht11 library here and uh, we will see how we can work uh, uh, with this uh, way so okay so let's get started so here uh, we have uh, our uh, old code where we have uh, in our hello world we have just uh, added arduino dot h and uh, through serial dot begin serial dot begin we uh, just printed uh, 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 and in uh, uh, this uh, uh, ESP IDF basically using Arduino as a component. If you haven't watched that video, you can just uh, go through, uh, go to this uh, I button here, and uh, you will see uh, that last video I have published on the same. So here, what will we do? We will just uh, work on DHT11, and we will just add Adafruit library uh, in our Arduino code. Uh, basically, uh, this is ESP IDF setup only. Uh, if I'll show you like uh, this is cmake to the cmake list dot text uh, this is the example code hello world main dot cpp and these are the things here uh, we had showed you like uh, shown you like uh, how you can uh, add this components uh, uh, and slash Arduino or library uh, Arduino as a co whole component in this uh, project so I'll not go uh, in the detail of that because I had already covered that in the, my last video. Now what I'll do, I'll just uh, uh, go to uh, to add those DST11 library first. Uh, I'll just uh, uh, open this uh, uh, library uh, thing. Like here we have uh, this uh, Adafruit library which uh, I have installed in my Arduino IDE through board uh, through library manager and we got these libraries on, in our documents folder and then th this Arduino folder and inside that these uh, this library fo libraries folder so i'll just copy these two and i'll just uh, paste there in that uh, section where we have our Arduino component so first we'll just go to reveal in file exp click on this reveal in file explorer so we'll just uh, go to this uh, by doing this we will just go to this uh, hello world uh, example uh, and then in hello world component folder we will just click in this this is the Arduino component and inside this there is a, there is the libraries folder here if I will click I need to just paste these two, th two libraries I will just copy and I will just paste it here and here we go these uh, two libraries are uh, there now and uh, what uh, one more thing we need to change uh, these two things we had done now uh, we also need to change uh, uh, the cmake uh, cmake list uh, dot text uh, of arduino so cmake list dot text if i'll click on that so there are uh, these things like uh, library sources and other sources so here we have to uh, uh, copy uh, include those uh, those paths so what I'll do, I'll just again go here and first I'll click on this and we will just copy this portion and we will just paste it here in, uh, in, in inside that. So here we go. So here we need to make it from backward slash to forward slash because this uh, this is a kind of it takes uh, in a linux uh, way, way in linux basically we have to make forward slash so uh, libraries then add a food you know unified sensor and then uh, you can see the dot cpp is also included so what we need to do we need to also include that dot cpp so what i'll do i'll just copy this and paste it okay so uh, this thing is come done and uh, for other libraries also we need to do that like uh, we will again go to libraries and uh, inside that there is no cpp now 
they have examples only so no need to do uh, anything on examples now what we will do we will just go to dht sensor library and here again same process libraries uh, here uh, alphabetically we can paste and anyway there won't be any effect on that but still things will look fine with that so dht sensor library and then we will again go to dst.cpp mm, paste it here and one more copy and that is dstu.cpp so uh, uh, this uh, this i have included in library sources and now we need to also do in includers so in includers uh, we will just uh, include these uh, without cpp we will just uh, include the folders itself so again we will go here and uh, first this one this way dht sensor make it forward slash okay so this thing we have done save it okay so now what we need to do we need to just uh, uh, write a code for that so uh, in this example code we can see um, uh, through this uh, here dht tester we can see this is the um, uh, code if I'll uh, say dst tester dot ino so we can all uh, write the same code in uh, uh, using a wide app main uh, format and uh, we will just uh, paste it uh, on that our uh, hello uh, world example so paste it here and this is the same code that we have dst tester we have on that we have uh, setup and loop part but here we have wide app main uh, setup and uh, this way uh, we are just uh, working on it uh, and uh, now we'll just build it uh, and now we will just flash it we will just select the com port com port is com port and we will just flash it it's uh, uploading uh, 87% completed so it flashed successfully now we will just check in the uh, check in our uh, terminal baud rate was 115200 
so we are getting output but somehow it is printing fail to read from dht sensor Just let me check I am checking it in dark light also. Uh, we are getting fail to read from DHT sensor. Mm. Uh, so uh, I uh, I think uh, still I am getting fail to read, but a uh, few values I got uh, here. Uh, and these are the values uh, like humidity, temperature, uh, heat index I got. So uh, I need to check with the sensor what, uh, what what is happening there. So maybe some issues uh, are there with the sensor. But this is the method uh, to integrate uh, the, any external libraries with uh, uh, using uh, ESP IDF and Arduino as a component. I hope you understand this. Uh, tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this just feel free to comment us below and uh, 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 if uh, I, I, you want to add any other library just uh, follow this the, the, the path uh, follow those uh, uh, points what I have discussed here like in how to in include on includers and directories in CMake list dot text and as well as uh, first we need to just copy those libraries to the, to the libraries folder so uh, this way you can able to run that pro uh, run that uh, library included code as well thanks for watching this video